this video, I'll be showing you how I made this long Gandalf Furby. This Furby has a vegan faceplate, meaning no original Furbies were harmed in the making. I'll be sure to include a full list of materials in the description down below. Start by cutting out your pattern pieces. You will need two of your front side and back side pieces. First, you will take the two front pieces and stitch them together down the center. Then you will attach the two side back pieces to the center back piece. The back side of your Furby head is now complete. To finish the front, you'll need to attach the belly fur. I decided to give the front of my Furby a trim. Cutting down the fur would be easier with an electric trimmer, however, the same look can be achieved with scissors and patience. Now it's time to make some ears. Start by cutting two of your inner ear and your outer ear, then sticking them together with hot glue. You can leave the ears as they are if you like them fluffy, but if you are interested in getting a more realistic animal look, go ahead and trim down the hair even further. I'm adding eyeshadow to the edge of the ear to disguise the seam. Acrylic paint would work well for this as well. Sew the front and back pieces of the head together. Now using a needle and thread, you can attach the ears to your Furby. The hot glue I used in the ears made it very difficult to get a needle through. I suggest using a thimble or even some pliers to help. Now let's make some Furby Peets.
time to make this long boy long. First I measured the width of the belly, then the length based on how long my spine is. I only bought a quarter yard of my contrasting belly fabric, so the belly itself will be made up of many smaller segments put together. I like to attach the pleats to the belly section at this stage. It ensures that the placement is exactly where I want them, as opposed to trying to keep them in place sandwiched between two layers of fabric later on. If you're watching closely, you might have noticed that I made 10 pleats, however, I'm only attaching 8. That's because one of the pleats mysteriously vanished when I wasn't looking. Now you can measure out the body fabric in the same way as you did the belly. Attach the belly to the body, one side at a time, ensuring that the fur is moving in the same direction. To ensure maximum adhesion from the face to the fur, I'm going to attach a small piece of felt to the back of the faceplate with superglue. I'm also adding two lengths of wire to the back of the faceplate so that I can attach it to the top of the spine later. I took a break from working on the face to attach the butt. When sewing, make sure to only sew halfway around so that you can still stuff it later. Now back to the face. Cut a small hole where the faceplate will eventually sit and poke the wires through. I added another scrap piece of felt to the inside of the head for added strength. I 
then you can attach the spine by using the wires. Secure the face to the rest of the fur. You can use almost any kind of glue, but I used super glue. Hand stitch the head to the rest of the body making sure the right sides are together. Now you can stuff your Furby. When filling out the body, make sure to keep the spine as centered as possible. Finish up the bottom with more hand stitches. Now your Furby is complete. You can personalize and accessorize them however you wish. To make him look more like Gandalf, I'm going to add some facial hair. This was just a cheap fake beard that I got from a party shop ages ago. I found this little felt hat at a craft store, and it's the perfect base for his wizarding hat. The slits I cut to fit his ears have the added bonus of helping the hat stay on his head. I covered the hat in grey felt using hot glue.
finally, what would a wizard be without his staff? I'm making the base out of some wire and a piece of citrine. According to legend, citrine is the symbol of friendship and has the power to chase away nightmares. I'm using Sculpey oven baked clay to cover the wire and shape the staff. After baking the clay, I painted it with acrylics. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the finished stuff, but you can see how it looks in the end result pictures. And there you have a long Gandalf Furby. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.